All right, we are traveling to the eastern part of the United States, to Paris. Paris, United States. The, un the unschool in a treehouse. Grand Oaks Academy. Have you ever dreamed about not having to go to school? Or about how great it would be to tell your teacher what you wanted to learn instead of the other way around? That's what kids and families are doing in countries around the world. It's a whole movement known as homeschooling. Some homeschooling students become unschoolers. Instead of going to their local school, the kids learn at home, in their local libraries, and in their community. They follow a plan that they help design with their parents or educators. Or they might learn without following any plan at all. Aaron and Jessica Stevens, who live in Tennessee in the United States, may go to a regular high school now, but they got ready for it first by staying out of school. From homeschooling to unschooling. When Aaron and Jessica were very young, their father, Scott, suggested that they homeschool. Every day, they spent a specific amount of time learning individual subjects according to traditional lesson plans. Their dining room was a school classroom. But then, Scott realized that the girls were more excited about learning when they chose what to study and how to study it. So they started unschooling. This is Grand Oaks Academy, the world's only treehouse schoolhouse. It's all about choices. Aaron explains, every year before school started, we would choose books or subjects that we wanted to learn about. Of course, there were the basics, English, math, and science, but everything else was our choice. There were topics that we would just get books and information about at our local library. Scott says, I became more relaxed and less concerned about keeping records and grades. I realized my daughters were learning all the time, and they loved to learn. They would set their own goals and finish them. In the end, my children were more than prepared for public school and life. The Grand Oaks Academy. Erin and her sister Jessica did lots of their studying at their kitchen table, but that wasn't ideal. They had to keep moving their books whenever it was time for a meal. When Jessica saw plans in a woodworking book for a, free, for a tree house, she knew she'd hit on a solution. They could go to school in a treehouse in their backyard. Four months later, the treehouse called Grand Oaks Academy was up and running. The treehouse had heat and electricity so the girls could have a computer in it. My name is Aaron, and I was unschooled until high school. I would wake up around 7.30 and my dad would leave whatever schoolwork and chores I had to do that day on a note for me. When I was finished, I had the rest of the day to do whatever I wanted. Most of the time, I would stretch out all my subjects over a week, so I was done by lunch. I liked having time to go outside and just be a little kid. Every other Thursday, I also went to a homeschool co-op called Star and had different classes with other kids. Sometimes we just hung out at Star I had a few more teachers. Unschooling opened up so many possibilities for me. I was able to go to a quilting group and dance classes, volunteer at a an 1850s living history farm, and help my mom and dad with their work. My mom worked for a wildlife refuge, and my dad builds frames for houses. Every year, my mom had to submit my grades to get to Gateway, an official homeschooling program. We didn't really have tests or anything like that. So we would combine the studies that I was doing at home and the classes that I took at STAR and estimate a grade. Fact, about 60,000 students 
in Canada and more than a million in the United States are homeschooled.